So, it was a rough night last night. Mm. I went to bed early. I could hear Charles downstairs snacking in the refrigerator. He does it every night. Comes up, climbs into bed. Five minutes he's asleep. Six minutes he's snoring loudly. So I'm like, babe, babe, roll over. Roll over, you're snoring. Nothing. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Charles, roll over. You're snoring. Nothing. I consider those love taps. But this one, I was kicking. <clears throat> roll the over. You're snoring and you're keeping me awake. Still nothing. I'm like, what? All right, well. Let me just tug on his pillow. All right, nothing. So I ripped the pillow up from under his head. Oh my God, still he's snoring and will not roll over. So finally, the last straw is I take the other pillow, six foot two, and I rip it out from under his head. I'm like, that'll teach him. Nothing, doesn't even move. Maybe stopped for about 30 seconds and then it was bellowing louder than ever. I was like, oh my God. <sighs> There's nothing I could do. I mean, I could have gone into the other bedroom, but then I would have been like, okay, the alarm's gonna go off. I'm not prepared for that. I won't even hear it in there. He's not gonna hear it. And honestly, <clears throat> I was just too tired. So I finally fell asleep about 3 a.m. Mm. I wake up this morning, sit up on the side of the bed. I look over at him, with the daggers coming out of my eyes. And he says, how'd you sleep last night? I said, uh, actually not too good. He said, yeah, I don't doubt it. You were snoring awfully loud. Excuse me? I knew when I pulled that second pillow up from under his head, uh, from under his head that I should have just put it on there and uh, put him out of my misery. Mm. Won't make that mistake twice. <laughs>